Start with a statement from the head coach. Um, good ball game out there. I thought Dunsey pitched extremely well. Um, if you look at his pitching numbers, I think he struck out 91 and in 93 innings. And if you look at some of the games, he's pitched in a very good league in the ACC. And he's uh, he's able to uh, pitch the fastball, the four corners of the strike zone, and moves in and out and mixes in just enough breaking balls and a few change-ups to keep you honest. And I thought he was the difference in the game today, no question about it. He uh, pitched outstanding. And uh, we had some chances the first four innings. We had guys on the first four innings, had leadoff double, didn't move the runner, and had leadoff single, I think, the next inning, didn't move them. And uh, Dalton Sawyer, just as the game went along, just didn't throw enough first pitch strikes. He was behind the count a lot, and the home runs came from being behind the count and making mistakes. And Dunsing didn't make many mistakes. I thought we had a chance to get back in the game there in the eighth, and Taron Vavra squared one up and went right at the center field. There goes in the gap. We got a one-run game. So. Um, I thought we we did a better job as the game went along offensively, but uh, I thought he was the story of the day. He uh, he did a, he pitched better than our starter did, and and Dalton got us out of a big jam there with the bases loaded. And he struck outside, and I think it probably took a lot out of him as well. Uh, but he kept us he kept the game in balance, and I thought that was a big point in the game as well. Opening it up for questions for the student athletes. One of you guys, I mean, can you just talk about what Coach just said about how well he was pitching and, and was it one of those things where you just kind of hoped you could get enough pitches out of him to get to their bullpen as the game went on? Yeah, I guess, you know, like Coach said, um, we did have opportunities early in the game, but he's, um, I mean, like he said, a really talented pitcher. I mean, really talented, works all four corners of the zone. Um, Ended up being able to establish his breaking ball, and so um, yeah, I mean, we just missed those opportunities, and so um, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't until I guess I guess the idea wasn't necessarily to get him out, but just to just try to um, to get on that fastball and to be able to get on the pitch early, but um, we just weren't able to do that quite enough. For both players, um, when was the first time that you saw the on deck circle mat that Adam provided, and what did that mean to you? Uh, I saw him laying it down when we got here before BP. Um, <clears throat> you know, I didn't know what it was at first, and then I went over and looked at it. Um, it means a lot to us. It's it's a great tribute. Uh, Adam's very very classy for doing that. Um, you know, we we appreciate all the all the thoughts and prayers we've gotten from around the entire country. You know, it's a baseball community, and that's just another another sign of you know how close college baseball is. You know. And, and tragedy brings us all closer. So we appreciate them doing that for us. Yeah, I mean, it was special. I mean, all, all I could do is just sit there and look at it because, I, you know, first of all, I couldn't believe that there was, I mean, that there was an organization classy enough to do that for us. You know, I thought um, that was just unbelievable. And, you know, we're all really, really thankful that they were able to do that for us. Um, and like Matt said, I mean, baseball is, is kind of a family even across the country. You saw even with a moment of silence for um, the kid from Vanderbilt before the game that um, it's just a game, but uh, moments like this can kind of bring us together. Um, so it was a really, really respectful move, um, just gesture on their end. Opening it up for questions for the head coach as well. I was going to ask Matt or Ward, my good coach brought that up, the fourth inning, it looked like it was going to be, might be a big inning where, where you got out of it with the three strikeouts and might get some momentum, but just weren't able to do that. It felt kind of the disappointing part, part of the of the game and that you weren't able to take advantage of that then? Yeah, I think we were, yeah, we were definitely hoping to draw some momentum for that. You know, it kind of, we felt that too. We thought it was going to be a little bit um, of a shifting, a shifting point in the game, um, but Dunshi, as he did the entire game, you know, was able to kind of keep us off the board and you know I think the real the real issue for us for those first about six seven innings was um, just a lack of being able to string together quality at bats I think we had good at bats overall in the day but not being able to string them together when we had the opportunities um, kind of shot us in the foot and uh, we're, we're a very dangerous offense as you, we were you know we, we got back in the game at the very end but the key for us will be better at bats, uh, better consistent at bats throughout the lineup earlier in the game, so we're not uh, so much up against, against the wall at the very end. Can you talk about um, on your home run 
looked like you wanted to walk the pitch before, did you not? Um, yeah, I thought that ball was up. Um, you know, and he had a pretty good zone all day, and I thought that was outside of where it had been. But uh, you know, what, what can you do? You got to flush and move on, and it ended up working out better for us. So. Um, <laughs> You know, I guess thanks to him for that. But uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you just you just move on from from a pitch or a play like that, and you, know, you control what you can control. Matt, can you talk about where you guys go from here? Obviously, now you got to string them together, and let the belief that you guys can can do that and, and keep this thing rolling. Oh, we're we're battle tested. Um, adversity is nothing new to us. And going all one doesn't phase us at all. Um, we're gonna. We're going to bring it our all for the rest of the weekend. We're planning on being here until the very end. So, you know, for us, the most important game is tomorrow. We're not worried. We're going to play with a lot of confidence, and uh, you know, I expect us to, to get on a little roll. Could you talk about Dalton probably being out pitch? Looked like he was, I don't know if we haven't seen you all the time, but the lot of curveballs in the dirt, was, was he just not getting that pitch over to make the other pitches? Yeah, I don't think he had very good command, typical command of his breaking ball today. He got some swing and misses on it, um, obviously. But, uh, um, you know, when you're pitching behind the count a lot like he did today, his, the most important pitch of every at bat's the first pitch. And uh, he started getting behind, behind, behind. And pitch count got up there and and probably got probably got fatigued there in the last inning. He was out there a little bit, but he was behind the count uh, much more than he normally is, and that's a dangerous way to live. And you know, they he made some mistakes on and plus counts, and give them credit, they hit him, and they didn't miss him. They hit him, and Dunsey didn't seem to make many mistakes in the middle of the strike zone and the whole day. He was out there, and that's a credit to him and the type of pitcher that he is. So, um, you know, um, Dalton, uh, uh, I don't think had his typical command of his breaking ball that we've seen this year and uh, that happens and so um, you know it wasn't one, it wasn't one of his better outings in my opinion but he did keep us in the game and he did compete there and uh, uh, probably would have helped him if we had been able to put together a little more offense for him earlier in the game as well but uh, um, we'll move on as Matt says and get ready for tomorrow. Coach, similar question I asked them. What was the first time that you saw uh, that, that on deck mat and what did that mean to you personally? I was alerted to that this morning. Um, our uh, administrator here, um, our senior athletic director, Beth Getz, had been contacted by A&M, Texas A&M, and they said they were going to do that. And she asked me if I was okay with it, and she thought it was tastefully done, and I said absolutely. Uh, and then I saw it when I came to the ballpark as well. And uh, I agree with what's been said here. It's a, it's, it's a very classy move, and you know, it's uh, this is about uh, life and uh, uh, losing a great man, and to see the baseball community uh, pay tribute to him is pretty special. Uh, Rob Childress uh, knew uh, Coach Oaks when he was at Nebraska, and he was a pitching coach there, and uh, so they knew each other. Todd played at Nebraska. Todd Oaks played at Nebraska for two years, so um, I don't know who, whose idea it was, but. Uh, uh, Coach Childress is a class act, always has been. I have great respect for him since I, uh, from the days at Nebraska. And uh, uh, we thank, uh, uh, you know, Texas A&M here for paying that tribute to Coach Oaks. Any, any future plans for it? I assume it'll probably go back up to Minnesota with you? Yeah, we'll take it back to Siebert Field, I'm sure, and uh, it'll be a keepsake for us. And maybe we'll put it in our indoor training facility and hitting facility. Maybe we'll put it in there. and. Uh, as a memento to uh, um, you know this uh, NCAA tournament and the gesture by Texas A&M. Time for about one more. To any players, to either players. How did you guys? I mean, ninth inning, you guys had. I mean, you're still down a couple runs, but you guys had to feel pretty good, like like you maybe had them on the ropes a little bit. Yeah. Give give ourselves a shot. Um, that's really all we can ask for. Obviously, um, like's been said, wish we would have been um, in a more competitive spot a little bit earlier in the game. Um, being able to execute a little bit more, but um, yeah, I mean, that's all you can really ask for is to um, have a chance towards the end of the game. And so uh, we feel good about where we were, um, top of the lineup coming up. So um, yeah, just unfortunately we weren't able to again string it over, string together, you know, enough quality at bats to get it done. So um, flush that, take the good from today, and move on to tomorrow. I think the key was we were trying to get to Matt Fiedler and Austin Ottman and uh, that inning. And uh, so that was the key. If, if, if Connor could have gone on base there and got Matt to the plate, um, 
I think the, the drama increases significantly there that inning. That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to get our third hole hitter to the plate in the last inning, give him a chance to make a difference, and came up uh, you know, one hitter short. All right. Thank you, guys.